Leviticus 23 The Sabbath and Appointed Festivals The Lord said to Moses, Say to the people of Israel, The appointed feasts of the Lord which you shall proclaim as holy convocations, my appointed feasts, are these. Six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day is a Sabbath of solemn rest, a holy convocation, you shall do no work, it is a Sabbath to the Lord in all your dwellings. Passover and Unleavened Bread These are the appointed feasts of the Lord, the holy convocations, which you shall proclaim at the time appointed for them. In the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month in the evening, is the Lord's Passover. And on the fifteenth day of the same month is the Feast of Unleavened Bread to the Lord, seven days you shall eat unleavened bread. On the first day you shall have a holy convocation, you shall do no laborious work. But you shall present an offering by fire to the Lord seven days, on the seventh day is a holy convocation, you shall do no laborious work. The Offering of First Fruits And the Lord said to Moses, Say to the people of Israel, When you come into the land which I give you and reap its harvest, you shall bring the sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest to the priest, and he shall wave the sheaf before the Lord, that you may find acceptance, on the morrow after the Sabbath the priest shall wave it. And on the day when you wave the sheaf, you shall offer a male lamb a year old without blemish as a burnt offering to the Lord. And the cereal offering with it shall be two tenths of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil, to be offered by fire to the Lord, a pleasing odor, and the drink offering with it shall be of wine, a fourth of a hin. And you shall eat neither bread nor grain parched or fresh until this same day, until you have brought the offering of your God, it is a statute forever throughout your generations in all your dwellings. The Festival of Weeks And you shall count from the morrow after the Sabbath from the day that you brought the sheaf of the wave offering, seven full weeks shall they be, counting fifty days to the morrow after the seventh Sabbath, then you shall present a cereal offering of new grain to the Lord. You shall bring from your dwellings two loaves of bread to be waved, made of two tenths of an ephah, they shall be of fine flour, they shall be baked with leaven, as first fruits to the Lord. And you shall present with the bread seven lambs a year old without blemish, and one young bull, and two rams, they shall be a burnt offering to the Lord, with their cereal offering and their drink offerings, an offering by fire, a pleasing odor to the Lord. And you shall offer one male goat for a sin offering, and two male lambs a year old as a sacrifice of peace offerings. And the priest shall wave them with the bread of the first fruits as a wave offering before the Lord, with the two lambs, they shall be holy to the Lord for the priest. And you shall make proclamation on the same day, you shall hold a holy convocation, you shall do no laborious work, it is a statute forever in all your dwellings throughout your generations. And when you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not reap your field to its very border, nor shall you gather the gleanings after your harvest, you shall leave them for the poor and for the stranger, I am the Lord your God. The Festival of Trumpets And the Lord said to Moses, Say to the people of Israel, In the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall observe a day of solemn rest, a memorial proclaimed with blast of trumpets, a holy convocation. You shall do no laborious work, and you shall present an offering by fire to the Lord. The Day of Atonement And the Lord said to Moses, On the tenth day of this seventh month is the Day of Atonement, it shall be for you a time of holy convocation, and you shall afflict yourselves and present an offering by fire to the Lord. And you shall do no work on this same day, for it is a day of atonement, to make atonement for you before the Lord your God. For whoever is not afflicted on this same day shall be cut off from his people. And whoever does any work on this same day, that person I will destroy from among his people. You shall do no work, it is a statute forever throughout your generations in all your dwellings. It shall be to you a Sabbath of solemn rest, and you shall afflict yourselves. On the ninth day of the month beginning at evening, from evening to evening shall you keep your Sabbath. The Festival of Booths And the Lord said to Moses, Say to the people of Israel, On the fifteenth day of this seventh month and for seven days is the Feast of Booths to the Lord. On the first day shall be a holy convocation, you shall do no laborious work. Seven days you shall present offerings by fire to the Lord, 
on the eighth day you shall hold a holy convocation and present an offering by fire to the Lord, it is a solemn assembly, you shall do no laborious work. These are the appointed feasts of the Lord, which you shall proclaim as times of holy convocation, for presenting to the Lord offerings by fire, burnt offerings, and cereal offerings, sacrifices and drink offerings, each on its proper day, besides the Sabbaths of the Lord, and besides your gifts, and besides all your votive offerings, and besides all your free will offerings, which you give to the Lord. On the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when you have gathered in the produce of the land, you shall keep the feast of the Lord seven days, on the first day shall be a solemn rest, and on the eighth day shall be a solemn rest. And you shall take on the first day the fruit of goodly trees, branches of palm trees, and boughs of leafy trees, and willows of the brook, and you shall rejoice before the Lord your God seven days. You shall keep it as a feast to the Lord seven days in the year, it is a statute forever throughout your generations, you shall keep it in the seventh month. You shall dwell in booths for seven days, all that are native in Israel shall dwell in booths, that your generations may know that I made the people of Israel dwell in booths when I brought them out of the land of Egypt, I am the Lord your God. Thus Moses declared to the people of Israel the appointed feasts of the Lord. Leviticus 24 The Lamp The Lord said to Moses, Command the people of Israel to bring you pure oil from beaten olives for the lamp, that a light may be kept burning continually. Outside the veil of the testimony, in the tent of meeting, Aaron shall keep it in order from evening to morning before the Lord continually, it shall be a statute forever throughout your generations. He shall keep the lamps in order upon the lampstand of pure gold before the Lord continually. The bread for the tabernacle. And you shall take fine flour, and bake twelve cakes of it, two tenths of an ephah shall be in each cake. And you shall set them in two rows, six in a row, upon the table of pure gold. And you shall put pure frankincense with each row, that it may go with the bread as a memorial portion to be offered by fire to the Lord. Every Sabbath day Aaron shall set it in order before the Lord continually on behalf of the people of Israel as a covenant forever. And it shall be for Aaron and his sons, and they shall eat it in a holy place, since it is for him a most holy portion out of the offerings by fire to the Lord, a perpetual due. Blasphemy and its punishment. Now an Israelite woman's son, whose father was an Egyptian, went out among the people of Israel, and the Israelite woman's son and a man of Israel quarreled in the camp, and the Israelite woman's son blasphemed the name, and cursed. And they brought him to Moses. His mother's name was Shalomith, the daughter of Debri, of the tribe of Dan. And they put him in custody, till the will of the Lord should be declared to them. And the Lord said to Moses, Bring out of the camp him who cursed, and let all who heard him lay their hands upon his head, and let all the congregation stone him. And say to the people of Israel, Whoever curses his God shall bear his sin. He who blasphemes the name of the Lord shall be put to death, all the congregation shall stone him, the sojourner as well as the native, when he blasphemes the name, shall be put to death. He who kills a man shall be put to death. He who kills a beast shall make it good, life for life. When a man causes a disfigurement in his neighbor, as he has done it shall be done to him, fracture for fracture, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, as he has disfigured a man, he shall be disfigured. He who kills a beast shall make it good, and he who kills a man shall be put to death. You shall have one law for the sojourner and for the native, for I am the Lord your God. So Moses spoke to the people of Israel, and they brought him who had cursed out of the camp, and stoned him with stones. Thus the people of Israel did as the Lord commanded Moses. Leviticus 25 The Sabbatical Year The Lord said to Moses on Mount Sinai, Say to the people of Israel, When you come into the land which I give you, the land shall keep a Sabbath to the Lord. Six years you shall sow your field, and six years you shall prune your vineyard and gather in its fruits, but in the seventh year there shall be a Sabbath of solemn rest for the land, a Sabbath to the Lord, you shall not sow your field or prune your vineyard. What grows of itself in your harvest you shall not reap, and the grapes of your undressed vine you shall not gather, it shall be a year of solemn rest for the land. 
The Sabbath of the land shall provide food for you, for yourself, and for your male and female slaves and for your hired servant and the sojourner who lives with you, for your cattle also and for the beasts that are in your land all its yield shall be for food. The Year of Jubilee And you shall count seven weeks of years, seven times seven years, so that the time of the seven weeks of years shall be to you forty-nine years. Then you shall send abroad the loud trumpet on the tenth day of the seventh month. On the Day of Atonement you shall send abroad the trumpet throughout all your land. And you shall hallow the fiftieth year, and proclaim liberty throughout the land to all its inhabitants, it shall be a jubilee for you, when each of you shall return to his property and each of you shall return to his family. A jubilee shall that fiftieth year be to you, in it you shall neither sow, nor reap what grows of itself, nor gather the grapes from the undressed vines. For it is a jubilee it shall be holy to you, you shall eat what it yields out of the field. In this year of jubilee each of you shall return to his property. And if you sell to your neighbor or buy from your neighbor, you shall not wrong one another. According to the number of years after the jubilee, you shall buy from your neighbor, and according to the number of years for crops he shall sell to you. If the years are many you shall increase the price, and if the years are few you shall diminish the price for it is the number of the crops that he is selling to you. You shall not wrong one another, but you shall fear your God, for I am the Lord your God. Therefore you shall do my statutes, and keep my ordinances and perform them, so you will dwell in the land securely. The land will yield its fruit, and you will eat your fill, and dwell in it securely. And if you say, What shall we eat in the seventh year, if we may not sow or gather in our crop? I will command my blessing upon you in the sixth year, so that it will bring forth fruit for three years. When you sow in the eighth year, you will be eating old produce, until the ninth year, when its produce comes in, you shall eat the old. The land shall not be sold in perpetuity, for the land is mine, for you are strangers and sojourners with me. And in all the country you possess, you shall grant a redemption of the land. If your brother becomes poor, and sells part of his property, then his next of kin shall come and redeem what his brother has sold. If a man has no one to redeem it, and then himself becomes prosperous and finds sufficient means to redeem it, let him reckon the years since he sold it and pay back the overpayment to the man to whom he sold it, and he shall return to his property. But if he has not sufficient means to get it back for himself, then what he sold shall remain in the hand of him who bought it until the year of Jubilee in the jubilee it shall be released, and he shall return to his property. If a man sells a dwelling house in a walled city, he may redeem it within a whole year after its sale, for a full year he shall have the right of redemption. If it is not redeemed within a full year, then the house that is in the walled city shall be made sure in perpetuity to him who bought it, throughout his generations, it shall not be released in the jubilee. But the houses of the villages which have no wall around them shall be reckoned with the fields of the country, they may be redeemed, and they shall be released in the jubilee. Nevertheless the cities of the Levites, the houses in the cities of their possession, the Levites may redeem at any time. And if one of the Levites does not exercise his right of redemption, then the house that was sold in a city of their possession shall be released in the jubilee, for the houses in the cities of the Levites are their possession among the people of Israel. But the fields of common land belonging to their cities may not be sold, for that is their perpetual possession. And if your brother becomes poor, and cannot maintain himself with you, you shall maintain him, as a stranger and a sojourner he shall live with you. Take no interest from him or increase, but fear your God, that your brother may live beside you. You shall not lend him your money at interest, nor give him your food for profit. I am the Lord your God who brought you forth out of the land of Egypt to give you the land of Canaan, and to be your God. And if your brother becomes poor beside you, and sells himself to you, you shall not make him serve as a slave, he shall be with you as a hired servant and as a sojourner. He shall serve with you until the year of the Jubilee, then he shall go out from you, he and his children with him, and go back to his own family, and return to the possession of his fathers. For they are my servants, whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt, they shall not be sold as slaves. You shall not rule over him with harshness, but shall fear your God. 
As for your male and female slaves whom you may have, you may buy male and female slaves from among the nations that are round about you. You may also buy from among the strangers who sojourn with you and their families that are with you, who have been born in your land, and they may be your property. You may bequeath them to your sons after you, to inherit as a possession forever, you may make slaves of them, but over your brethren the people of Israel you shall not rule, one over another, with harshness. If a stranger or sojourner with you becomes rich, and your brother beside him becomes poor and sells himself to the stranger or sojourner with you, or to a member of the stranger's family, then after he is sold he may be redeemed, one of his brothers may redeem him, or his uncle, or his cousin may redeem him, or a near kinsman belonging to his family may redeem him, or if he grows rich he may redeem himself. He shall reckon with him who bought him from the year when he sold himself to him until the year of Jubilee and the price of his release shall be according to the number of years, the time he was with his owner shall be rated as the time of a hired servant. If there are still many years, according to them he shall refund out of the price paid for him the price for his redemption. If there remain but a few years until the year of Jubilee, he shall make a reckoning with him, according to the years of service due from him he shall refund the money for his redemption. As a servant hired year by year shall he be with him, he shall not rule with harshness over him in your sight. And if he is not redeemed by these means, then he shall be released in the year of Jubilee, he and his children with him. For to me the people of Israel are servants, they are my servants whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt, I am the Lord your God.